Hello, good evening, guys. How are you? ¿Qué tal su día? Good evening. Good sure. evening, Maria. How are you? How do you feel today? Um, muy agitado. Oh, it was, okay, so it was busy. Diga, was, it was busy? It was busy. Very good. Mm -hmm. Yes, I imagine, I imagine, si me imagino. Well, but we are in the middle of the week, right? So we are on Wednesday, tomorrow is Thursday, then we have Friday, and then the weekend, right? Ya casi llega el fin de semana. Okay, so welcome, okay, everybody, welcome once again. So today we are going to start with uh, class number three. And well, guys, today we are going to start with today's agenda, the warm-up. We have unit six. That's the one that we are covering through this week. We also have vocabulary and we have the grammar part. And for the grammar part, we are going to study negative sentences in simple present tense. That is going to be the topic for today. Yeah. But we are going to start with the warm up. Uh, okay, Mario. Thank you. Then we have verb item in the house and adjective. Those are the three categories that we are going to play with today, okay? So let's see. Um, you know, uh, this one is the same as yesterday, right? Like bachillerato stop, but the three categories uh, have changed. Han cambiado las categorías. En este día vamos a um, tratar de buscar verbos, items, okay, en la casa, y adjetivos. Okay, so let's see. We are going to start with the first letter and the first letter is going to be letter C. Letter C, yes. Verb, item in the house, and adjective. Cuando ya termine, please stop the bus. Um, okay, Jeff. Puede, solo una consulta, ¿qué podría ser un adjetivo? Un adjective, un adjetivo puede ser, por ejemplo, grande, pequeño, bonito, barato, eh, costoso. For example, beautiful, big, small. Uh -huh. Okay, ready? With the letter C, let's see. Verb, uh -huh. good evening, Carlos. Okay, verb with the letter C, guys. Calculate. Calculate, item in the house. Uh, cars. Cars, now give me adjective. Um, um oh, no, sorry, cheerful. <laughs> okay, cheerful, okay, cheerful. cheerful. Okay, so thank you, uh, Carlo Francisco. All right, very good. Okay, guys, another letter, okay? Trate de buscar, si no sabe, let's go ahead and try to do our own research, okay? Tratemos de buscar. Right. Okay, so next letter. With the letter, with the letter, let me see. T. Letter T. Stop the bus. Okay, very good, Edwin. Let's see, verb. Um, take. Mm -hmm. um, 
item in table. Table, okay. Um, objective, uh, tall. Tall, very good. Yes, excellent. Yes, okay, thank you, Edwin. Okay, guys, let's continue with one more, okay? Let me see, with the letter, let me see, okay. So with the letter, Teacher, una pregunta. Yes. Este, están, estamos haciendo un verbo, un, uno de cada uno. Un verbo, un objeto y un adjetivo. Ah, ok. Ok. All right. So with the letter M. M, M, M. Okay, Carlos Francisco. Um, verb? Make. Make. Item in the house? Um. Microwave. A microwave, okay. Mm -hmm. And an adjective? Magic. Magic. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, we are going to stop right here with uh, stop the bus. Okay, so the winner for today, Carlos Francisco. Okay, so he is the winner. Very good. So now let's move. Okay, let's move, guys. And today's topic is going to be simple present negative sentences with I, you, we, and they. That is going to be the first grammar part that we are going to cover. Okay, guys. So for the sentences in a negative way, what we do with the simple present tense is that we add do not or don't, which is the contraction, yes? In this case, for I, you, we, and they, we are going to use auxiliary verbs. This, this one, okay, this is an auxiliary verb. Son verbos auxiliares. So, for I, you, we, and they, vamos a utilizar do not or don't. Don't es la contracción, is the contraction for do not. ¿Sí? Quiere decir que usted va a utilizar ya sea do not o don't. No los dos juntos. Ya sea la forma larga o la contracción. Okay, and this, this is just for I, you, we, and they. Únicamente para esos pronombres. So we have the subject, do not or don't. The verb in base form, quiere decir en su forma base, verbo en presente normal. And complement. And we have the examples. Carlos Francisco help us reading the first two examples. And Maria Vilma, the other two examples. I don't sleep early. You don't sleep early. Okay, Maria. We don't sleep early. They don't sleep early. Very good. So you see, I, you, we, and they. And we use don't, 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 don't. Yes? I don't sleep early. Yo no duermo temprano. Okay, yo no me duermo temprano. Tú no te duermes temprano. Nosotros no nos dormimos temprano. Ellos no se duermen temprano. Yes? All right, so now we also have the third person. Yes? But now for negative sentences, 
We have he, she, and it. And for the negative sentences, we have the subject. And look at this. Mire, fíjese el auxiliar para las negativas cuando es tercera persona. The auxiliary verb is going to be does not or doesn't. Okay, pronunciación. Doesn't. Yeah? Or does not. Yeah? Does not or doesn't. Yeah? Y el verbo in base form. Verb in base form. ¿Qué quiere decir? Que ya no le vamos a poner la letra S. Ya no le vamos a poner ni la ES. Yes? Look at this. Eh, Edwin, help us reading the three examples. Okay. She doesn't sleep early. He doesn't sleep early. He doesn't sleep early. Very good. So you see, she doesn't sleep. Mire, verbo en presente, normal. She doesn't sleep early. He doesn't sleep early. And it doesn't sleep early. Yes? Okay. Now, with the simple present time expressions in negative sentences, we use always, usually, and often. Always, usually, you. Usually, often. Yes? Those three. Okay, so now we have simple present negative sentences with I, you, we, and they. Fíjese bien. Subject, don't, frequency adverb, verb in present, and complement. Mire, ahora, ¿qué hacemos? Después del don't, va a ir el adverbio de frecuencia en la negativa. Yes. Eh, let me see. Katia Mayerly, help us reading the first two. Ayúdenos a leer las primeras dos y de ahí Mercedes y Isabel las otras dos. I don't always sleep early. You don't always sleep early. We don't often sleep early. They don't usually sleep early. Very good. Thank you. So I don't always sleep early. Yo no siempre me duermo temprano. Yes? Es negativo. Okay. You don't always sleep early. We don't often. Nosotros usualmente no nos dormimos temprano. Yes. They don't usually sleep early. Son negativas. Oraciones negativas con advert of frequency. Yes. Do you have any question? Tiene alguna pregunta? Alguna duda hasta aquí? Mi teacher. Yes. <coughs> eh, las contracciones eh, siempre es correcto utilizarlas, o sea, como para hablar o, o leerlo más rápido, o hay en algunas ocasiones en las que no se deben utilizar. Ok, muy bien. Muy buena pregunta. Ok, the contractions. Eh, la única excepción donde usted no puede utilizar contracciones es cuando usted está creando ensayos o cuando usted está escribiendo correos electrónicos. Cuando es algo bien profesional, lo ideal es no utilizar contracciones. Sin embargo, si está usted en un ambiente como eh, de amigos, ¿verdad? de personas conocidas y no es algo formal, entonces, puede utilizar siempre las contracciones para que su speaking sea un poco más fluido. Pero en la escritura, cuando usted está enviando un correo, usted va a enviar un correo 
en su empresa, ¿verdad? Eh, es bien importante que no se utilicen contracciones por lo formal, ¿verdad? Por la formalidad que debe de tener ese correo electrónico o en este caso, si usted estudia fuera del país, eh, usted va a tener que crear ensayos porque son evaluados, ¿ok? Entonces, ese tipo de... Eh, le llamamos academic paper, ¿ok? Que son eh, básicamente cosas académicas. Entonces, no se debe de utilizar contracciones. De lo contrario, sí puedo utilizarlas. ¿Ok? Thank you, teacher. Ok, very good. So now, then, this one is for I, you, we, and they. Then we also have the same structure, but in this case is with he, she, and it, which is the third person singular. So we have subject, doesn't, frequency adverb, verb in present, and we have the complement. Yeah? And we have some examples. So let me see. Uh, Cindy, Stephanie, help us reading the three examples. She doesn't always sleep early. Mm -hmm. He doesn't usually sleep early. It doesn't often sleep early. Very good. Okay. So in this case, as you can see, we have subject doesn't always sleep early. Ya no llevamos la letra S. Todos los verbos van en su forma base. Okay. Cuando hablamos de negativas. Okay. Do you have any other question? ¿Alguna otra pregunta hasta aquí? Podría repetir ese último que dijo. Ah, yes. Por supuesto, Jose. Okay. So, in this case, we have the simple present negative for he, she, and it. Mira la estructura, subject, doesn't, frequency, adverb, verb in present, and complement. Entonces tenemos, she doesn't always sleep early. Si se fija, el verbo va en su forma base, en presente. No lleva la letra S. ¿Por qué? Porque ya llevamos el auxiliar y estamos hablando de oraciones negativas. Recordemos que el único verbo que va a cambiar es en las oraciones positivas cuando hablemos de terceras personas, lo que vimos el día de ayer. ¿Yes? Uh -huh. Ok. ¿Alguna otra duda? No doubts. Ok. ¿Cómo cambia la palabra positivo? Es que no puede entrar a la clase. Ok. Eh, José, eh, es algo extenso como el, las reglas que cubrimos, entonces lo que voy a hacer para que usted pueda verificar el video, le voy a compartir el enlace para que usted vea todas las reglas que vimos, porque son eh, básicamente son seis, seis reglas que vimos ayer. Entonces, para que usted pueda comprender, yo le recomiendo que vea el video. Le voy a pasar el video, ¿sí? Bye. Ok, bien. En este caso, guys, vamos con la class activity. So, eh, ok, let me, um, let me fix this. So, what we are going to do is that we are going to create sentences, ok? Vamos a crear oraciones. ¿Qué tipo de oraciones? Well, we are going to create uh, five Activities, ok, using negative sentences. Vamos a utilizar negativas, negative sentences. Um, sí, María, eh, creería yo que sí. De igual manera, si no, um, déjenme preguntarles algo. ¿A alguien de acá, cuando le mandaron el correo, le mandaron el link como de las clases que subimos a YouTube? No. Sí, no, mandaron no. un link, pero como no teníamos ninguna clase al principio, no salía ningún video. Ajá. Pero en la, en la plataforma de aprendizaje aparece como al final, donde aparece el, el, un test que mandan. Okay. Aparecen las clases guardadas, las clases anteriores. Ah, bye. 
¿Sí? De hecho, eh, eh, le voy a mandar como el link para que directamente vean los videos, porque ahí están en orden y están por fecha y todo. ¿Ok? Entonces, eh, right now, what we are going to do is that we are going to create five sentences using negative auxiliary. ¿Ok? Cinco. En ese caso, usted puede elegir si la quiere hacer de I, you, we, they, he, she, or it. ¿Ok? Con el pronombre que usted quiera. Y si quiere hacer uno de cada uno, pues mejor. ¿Ya? Vamos a darle cinco minutos para que termine esta actividad utilizando la estructura negativa. Negativa. Ok, si tiene preguntas, háganlo. Vamos a ver. Teacher, yo tengo una duda. Yes. Con, con el IUI no vamos a usar la regla que vimos ayer. No. Que se le agregaba. Ah, ok. Sí, con el IUI... Eh, de hecho, con ninguno, porque como esas son oraciones... Solo con la... Ah, ya, ya, hoy sí ya comprendí, teacher, gracias. Bye. Teacher, y le vamos a incluir a los adverbios de, de, de tiempo, adverbios yes. de frecuencia. De frecuencia, please, por favor, yes. Vale, eh, le voy a mandar el link de la, de la lista de, de videos al, a, en este momento al WhatsApp. Para que usted cuando ya tenga tiempo pueda verificar. Vaya, vale, ya se la envié. Si usted se mete en este caso, Jose, eh, si se va a ese link, va a ver que ya está sesión 1 y sesión 2. La que vimos ayer es la sesión 2. ¿Ok? Ok, so, cuando finalice, si puede, me manda las oraciones aquí al chat o en una captura de pantalla o en, en una foto para ver la escritura. Okay. Okay. Yes, very good. The one that ends in 11.77, I think. Very good. Mercedes, I don't shower late. 
you don't do your homework, we don't play basketball, you don't watch TV, he doesn't work hard. Perfect, Mercedes. Very good. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Um, I want to hear some of you. Vaya, vamos a ver volunteers para compartir las oraciones. Okay, let me see. I have some. I don't usually eat tamales. You don't often go to the gym. We don't usually watch TV. He doesn't work on weekends. She doesn't usually. Very good. Yes, Alex, I think that is. I don't always go to bed late. I don't always watch television. I don't always see my sister. I don't always get to work early. I don't always go out with my friend. Perfect, Edwin. Uh, Jorge, let me see. I don't walk to my work. You don't usually see my TV. We don't open it. Um, the last one, el último, la última oración, it doesn't always Sight. Creo que sería sit sin esa e. El número que termina es 6058. Okay, Fabiola, I don't always eat early. You don't want to go out. We don't play soccer. She doesn't work on weekends. Ahí le falta la preposición, Fabiola, on weekends. Uh, he doesn't exercise every day. Okay. Let's see. I don't always go for a walk. She doesn't eat in class. My mother, okay. Okay, perfect. Very good, guys. Okay, um, Carlos Vidal. Are you there? No. Um, let me see, Jose Alejandro Flores. Let me see. Can you hear me? Me escuchan. Okay. Cindy, déjame ver. She doesn't usually eat chicken. He doesn't always play soccer. She doesn't often wash the car. He doesn't always sit in math. Okay. Yes, Cindy. Very good. Um, Diana? Sí. Ok, nos puede compartir sus oraciones. Yeah, I don't never room in the office. I don't never. Ok. Room. Uh -huh. I don't never room in the office. Uh -huh. uh, you run sometimes there in the. Um, 
creo que es que dibujar se dice dar, ¿verdad? Eh, Pero draw. Dibujar? Draw. Draw. Ah, ok. Sí. Entonces sería you, you don't sometimes drop in the not, not food. Cuaderno, ¿verdad? Not. Ok. Eh, we does often eating watermelon. Mm, we does or we don't. We don't. Don't. Mm -hmm. We does often eating watermelon. Okay. We don't eating or eat. I eat. Eat. I said. Okay. Sorry. Don't worry. Watermelon. Okay. That's it. Bye. Okay. Eh, Diana, and this is for everybody, okay? Eso es para todos, ¿sí? Recordemos, en las expresiones eh, de adverbios de frecuencia, los únicos que vamos a utilizar en negativas son always, usually, and often. Yes? Never, no se puede utilizar. Okay? Yeah? Yes? Yes? Ok, very good. So, um, uno más, ok, para verificar. Eh, Mario Ernesto Guevara. Mario Ernesto. No. Damaris, Milagro. Hi. Okay, please share your sentences with the class. Okay. Um, she, she don't wake up late. Don't? Ah, I, I, oh. I don't wake up late. late. Okay. Sorry. Um, I, I always, Sorry. I don't work uh, the Sunday. The, the Sunday. Oh, I don't work on Sunday. Oh, on Sunday. Mm -hmm. I I don't take the bus. I don't take the bus. The bus. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't go the. The, the school I don't go to okay and I don't today I don't cook the lunch okay I don't cook the lunch on okay. Wednesday okay on Wednesday okay mm -hmm. okay ¿Eran todas? Yes. Thank you. Ok. Carlos Vidal. Yes, teacher. Um, I don't always wash a car. Ok. I don't usually play every day. Uh -huh. I don't often get angry. Ok. I don't always work. Under pressure. I don't always work under pressure. Yes. I don't usually eat late. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm checking. Okay. Very good, guys. Okay. So now let's move. Okay. Let's move to the next activity that we have. Okay. Guys, it says read and choose the correct answer. Okay. This is Tina. She is what? Chef. Okay. Chef. Chef. Okay. And what is the meaning of clown? Payaso. Payaso. Yes. Clown dies. Payaso. Okay. Payaso. Now, this one. She works. Works work. or work? She works work in a restaurant. Work. Okay. Work. This one work. work or works. 
Works. Works. Works. Restaurante. Works. Ok, con la S, guys. Aseguremos de la pronunciación. Works. Mm -hmm. Yes. In a restaurant. Now she. Works. Works. Very good. With the, the S. A white hat. And this one, she. No. Love. Okay. Love. No. Love or loves? Loves. Love. 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 Okay. Love or loves? Love. Love. Okay. So it is going to be this one, okay? Con la letra S porque son oraciones positivas. Mire, no hay negativas aquí. Yes, y estamos hablando de she, terceras Ella. personas. Ella. Muy bien. Yes. Bye. En este caso, eh, vamos a irnos a diferentes salones. Yes. ¿Y qué va a hacer? Con su compañero va a escribir acerca de Marcos. ¿Qué va a ser? Lo mismo que hemos hecho aquí, pero ya no con las opciones, sino que ya con la oración correcta. ¿Sí? Va a presentar. This is Marcos. He is, y dice la profesión que usted considera que es Marcos. Y luego va a decir tres cosas. Por ejemplo, he works, él trabaja en, y dice dónde trabaja. He wears, él viste, él usa de llevar puesto, en este caso, una bata. Puede ser o lentes, lo que usted quiera describir. He loves, que le gusta a él, que le encanta a él. ¿Sí? Cuando ya hemos terminado esto eh, con su equipo, nos vamos a mover al speaking. ¿Sí? Vamos a practicar por al menos unos 10 eh, minutos, o, con eso también incluido. ¿Ok? Y después vamos a regresar para preguntar. Mire, speaking time. By what do you usually do on Sunday? Que usualmente usted hace los domingos. What do you usually do on Monday? Uh -huh. What do you usually do after classes? Que usualmente usted hace después de las clases? ¿Qué hace? Oraciones en presente simple. Yo ceno, yo me voy a dormir, yo me baño. ¿Qué hace? ¿Sí? Yo hago tareas, yo creo reportes. ¿Qué hace después de la clase? And what do you usually do before classes? ¿Y qué hace antes de las clases? ¿Qué hace? Yo quiero saber qué hace. ¿okay? Vamos a practicar con su compañero. Si a su compañero le cuesta y usted puede apoyarlo, trate de hacerlo. Si usted sabe que su compañero está cometiendo un error, entonces corríjalo de la mejor manera. ¿okay? Los que no podamos participar, si gusta, se queda en la sesión principal. Los que sí podamos participar, nos vamos a mover a otros salones. ¿okay? Ahora, tómele captura o abra la clase en el link que yo le compartí donde están nuestras clases. Okay, para que cuando estemos en el salón, ¿verdad? No digamos, no sé qué vamos a hacer porque no le tome captura. ¿Ok? Tómele captura. ¿Yes? Vale. Entonces, vamos a comenzar con esta. Acuérdese, esto es lo que va a hacer con su compañero. ¿Sí? Vale. Let's move. Ok, Mario.
Sí. Este puede compartir usted pantalla. Yo. Sí, para escribir lo del doctor. Lo de Marcos. Okay. Eh, bueno, no sé qué tanto había adelantado usted. Eh, yo todavía no lo había iniciado. Pues si gusta, inicio. <risa> ok. Mar. Dale un solo. O oh, creo, creo que tendría Hospital. que seguir. Mm -hmm. Well, see, see a doctor, he's a doctor, he works in the hospital. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué otra cosa? Um, quiero ver el que seguía la, era... La otra era Wurz. Así se pronuncia. Uh, Wurz. Ajá. Wurz. Mm. Él viste una bata. Ajá. La tercera sería cabal. Eh, eh, he, he wears, wears ¿verdad? He porque, wears. Es, porque es positivo. Uh, glass. Tiene lente, ¿verdad? Sí, 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 sí tiene. Glasses, um, bata, ¿cómo se dice en inglés? Uh, ahorita vemos, quiero ver. Es bata es coat. ¿Cómo? Coat. Coat. O, ajá, o coat. ¿Qué sería? Oh. Bata. Vaya. Oh. Uh -huh. uh, y el último dice qué es lo que le gusta. Um, uh, he sí. likes uh, enfermos, ¿cómo se diría? A uh, uh, sick people. Uh, <risa> de cuidar. <risa> él, 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 ama, él ama cuidar personas. Uh -huh. Ajá, cuidar personas. Cuidar, cuidar como se dice en o inglés. Atender personas también. He loves taking care of people. Taking care of people. Taking care of people. Uh -huh. No. Um, taking. Care es verdad. Como cuidar. Como vamos a care. Ok. Ah. Ok. Eso sería con lo de Marcos. Ajá, y, y ahora, ahora tendríamos que hacer preguntas. el... Ajá. Uh -huh. Vaya, ya les comparto el de las preguntas. El de las preguntas dice lo siguiente. Uh, what do you usually do on, uh, on Sunday? ¿Qué hacen usualmente ¿Qué hacen? los domingos? ¿Quién inicia? Uh, José, ¿te parece? Ok. Pero no lo puedo ver, me lo proyectan. O, o, o te hago la pregunta. Dice, what do you usually do on Sunday? Do on Sunday. Do, do, do on, on Sunday. Sunday. Uh -huh. Well, I take a shower. I go to... 
to my job mm -hmm. and go to the supermarket. Mm -hmm. Well, this is all. Very good. Okay. Ay, qué calor. Uh, <laughs> yes, it's pretty hot. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Very hot. It's been time with my family. With? With. Yes. Okay. With my family. Mm -hmm. And Edwin? Uh, um, I go... I go all my family with with my family. Okay. Yo salgo con mi familia. Yes. Este, también um, I I have bueno no sería como como para decir yo duermo. Oh, <laughs> I sleep. I sleep. I sleep. I sleep. I sleep. I sleep. Ok, solo eso, eso hago. Ok. Ahora la segunda pregunta. Uh, la segunda dice, what do you usually do, do Monday? ¿Qué sueles hacer Monday. los lunes? Ajá. ¿Quién? ¿Quién lo va a decir? Inicia usted nuevamente. Alejandro. Ok. Ah, José Alejandro. <laughs> <laughs> bueno, I go, go to eat at the restaurant. Um, I work in, in my class. Ah, hago ejercicio, ¿cómo se dice? I do exercises. I do exercise. Okay. Solamente. That's it. That's it. Very good. Oh, I can what, what do you have home and what series in the afternoon? Okay. Um, eh, always um, work. Eh, in my job creo que sí sería eh, que usualmente eh, no siempre eh, siempre trabajo ok I always work okay. I always I always work. work yes vaya vámonos a la sala principal ok let's go Okay, so we are going to take the listening. Vamos a tomar el listening. We are going to take the listening quiz. Okay, vamos a tomar la práctica de listening, guys. Okay. Okay, teacher. Bye. Yes, guys. So, um, déjeme voy a darle el link a los que tal vez no están en. Me está cubriendo. Bye. Guys, para los que van entrando a esa sesión, en la principal, vamos a tomar el listening. La contraseña es listening, ya saben. Ok, listen, mayúscula. Ok. Vaya, open it. Ábralo. Vaya, guys, creo que ya estamos todos en la sesión principal. Creo que no me falta nadie. ¿Vieron? No, yo creo que estamos todos. Ok, bye guys. Eh, voy a pasar la asistencia también. Entonces, antes de hacer el listening, usted abra, ok. Pero voy a pasar la asistencia. Alexandra Giselle Corena. 
Astrid Gabriela Navarrete. Present. Carlos Francisco Escoto. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Israel Estrada. Present. Thank you. Carlos Vidal Gómez. Present. Thank you. Cindy Stephanie Ramirez. Present. Thank you. Damaris Milagro Hernández. Damaris. Damaris Milagro. Daniela Lisbeth. Present. Diana Beatriz. Present. Eh, Ediselda Elizabeth. Ediselda Elizabeth Pineda. Edwin Giovanni Espinosa. Present. Fabiola Yamilet Díaz. Present. Thank you. Ingrid Astrid Asunción. Present. Thank you. Jonathan David Sea. Jonathan. Yeah, he is sick, I think. Uh, George Mauricio Gutierrez. Jorge. Jorge Mauricio. Jose Alejandro Flores. Jose. Present. Present. Katia Mayerly Granados. Disculpe, creo que no he present. No escuchado que estaba, que estaba presente. Disculpe. Quiero ver, Jorge. Jorge, sí. Jorge. Sí, no activo el micrófono. Va, ok, okay. thank you. Um, Liliana del Tránsito Aguilar. Present. Thank you. Manuel Alexander Áviles. Present. Thank you. María Vilma Cortés. Present. Thank you. Mario Ernesto Guevara. Mario. Mario Ernesto. Mercedes Isabel Acevedo. Present. Mm, ok. Creo que Mario dijo present. Mirna Yamilet Reyes. Mirna. Tatiana Abigail Rodríguez. Tatiana. En Jenny Lisbeth Tolosa. Present. Thank you. Okay, guys, let's take the listening. Okay, so I'm going to play the audio three times. Se lo voy a poner tres veces. Okay. Me confirman si escuchan. Me confirman si escuchan. Hi, I don't think we've met. My name's Tom. Hi, Tom. Nice to meet you. My name is Juanita. Yes? Yes. Sí. Okay. Yes. Muy bien, aquí vamos, guys. Entonces, tres veces. Hi, I don't think we've met. My name's Tom. Hi, Tom. Nice to meet you. My name is Juanita, but everybody calls me Jenny. Nice to meet you, Jenny. So, where are you from? Well, I'm originally from Argentina, but we moved to the United States when I was about five years old. Oh. My parents now live in Chile. That's where they first met. How about you, Tom? I was born in Fresno, California, and we lived there until I was seven. Then, since my father worked for the military, we moved all over the place. Oh, yeah? Where are some of the places you've lived? Mostly, we lived overseas. We spent 10 years in Korea, Germany, and Japan, and then we were transferred back to the States three years ago. Wow. It sounds like you've had an interesting life. So what do you do now? I'm a university student. Oh, really? What are you studying? I'm majoring in psychology. How about you? What do you do? Well, I'm working as a sales representative for a computer company called CompTech downtown. No kidding. My brother works there, too. Okay. Again, okay, de nuevo, de nuevo. Hi, I don't think we've met. My name's Tom. Hi, Tom. Nice to meet you. My name is Juanita, but everybody calls me Jenny. Nice to meet you, Jenny. So, where are you from? Well, I'm originally from Argentina, but we moved to the United States when I was about five years old. Oh. My parents now live in Chile. That's where they first met. How about you, Tom? I was born in Fresno, California, and we lived there until I was seven. Then, since my father worked for the military, we moved all over the place. Oh, yeah? Where are some of the places you've lived? Mostly, we lived overseas. We spent 10 years in Korea, Germany, and Japan, and then we were transferred back to the States three years ago. Wow. It sounds like you've had an interesting life. So what do you do now? I'm a university student. Oh, really? What are you studying? I'm majoring in psychology. How about you? What do you do? Well... I'm working as a sales representative for a computer company called CompTech downtown. No kidding. My brother works there, too. Okay. 
the last time, okay? Vamos con la última vez. Hi, I don't think we've met. My name's Tom. Hi, Tom. Nice to meet you. My name is Juanita, but everybody calls me Jenny. Nice to meet you, Jenny. So, where are you from? Well, I'm originally from Argentina, but we moved to the United States when I was about five years old. Oh. My parents now live in Chile. That's where they first met. How about you, Tom? I was born in Fresno, California, and we lived there until I was seven. Then, since my father worked for the military, we moved all over the place. Oh, yeah? Where are some of the places you've lived? Mostly, we lived overseas. We spent 10 years in Korea, Germany, and Japan, and then we were transferred back to the States three years ago. Wow. It sounds like you've had an interesting life. So what do you do now? I'm a university student. Oh, really? What are you studying? I'm majoring in psychology. How about you? What do you do? Well, I'm working as a sales representative for a computer company called CompTech downtown. No kidding. My brother works there, too. Okay. Listos? Yes? Bye. Envíe, um, envíe sus respuestas. Envíelas. ¿Ok? No se preocupe. Ok. Very good. I can see that most of you got 180s. Ok. Very good. Muy bien. Ok. Algunos subimos 60. Ok. Bueno, no se preocupe, que a medida vayamos practicando, vamos a ir. A Luis, yo no pude entrar a la, a la prueba o no sé. Ok, no se preocupe, Fabiola. Sí. Eh, pero el día de mañana trate de, eh, cuando ingresemos, voy a preguntar nuevamente quién tiene problemas para que eh, todos podamos tomarlo. Probablemente Fabiola ingresó, ¿qué le decía? ¿Le decía algún error? No, no me aparece. ¿El qué no le aparece? ¿El link? ¿O a dónde? Chat, en el chat. Aquí en el chat lo mandé. En el chat de la aplicación de Zoom. Uh -huh. No. Solo me eso me aparece. No le llegó entonces. Vale, entonces el día de mañana cuando yo lo mande y cuando alguien más no lo vea, eh, me dice, ¿ok? Antes de comenzar el examen, para que podamos tomarlo todos. Esas son prácticas, ¿ok? No se preocupe, que no es algo que le va a afectar a su niño, ¿sí? Ahora, eh, let's see, guys. Vale, necesito voluntarios para responder. What do you usually do on Sunday? Yo. ¿Ok? Um, in the afternoon, I go to church. To the church? Mm -hmm. To the church. Yes. Okay. Uh, somebody else? Alguien más? What do you usually do on Sunday? Mercedes? Okay. In the morning, I... I got to the church. In the afternoon, I got to my puppy in the park. In, I don't know, de vez en cuando in English. Sometimes. And sometimes in the night, I eat uh, with my family. Okay. And sometimes at night. At night. Very good. Maria, what do you usually do on Sunday? I um, como de organizar. Yo lo busqué en un traductor y me dice organize. 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 I organize my house on Sunday. Okay. Thank you. Carlos Israel, what do you usually do on Sunday? I usually <laughs> I I usually play video games all day. Oh my god, okay. 
That's cool. Very good. Okay, somebody else? Alguien más? Uh -huh. What do you usually do on Sunday, Carlos Vidal? Um, I usually play soccer. I usually play soccer. What about you, Cindy? What do you usually do on Sunday? I go early sure. to take my brother to school. Okay, I go to the church. And Cindy, number two? I go to? I wake up early to take my brother to school. Perfect. Okay, I have to send this. Okay. Bueno, muy bien, guys. Thank you. Okay, just because of the time, solamente por el tiempo, vamos a dejar hasta aquí esta clase. Okay, I'll see you back tomorrow. Thank you very much for connecting today. Okay, I'll see you back tomorrow. Have a good night. Descanse. Yes? Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, Fabiola. Good night.